If you're thinking, why on earth would you build a project management platform in 2024? I'm here to show you why. Clipflow has been built and designed from the ground up for YouTube creators. There are no complex customization steps required to get started. And it's a simple and easy process from idea to publishing. We support solo creators as well as teams with multiple channels. And the app has been stripped back so that your content is front and center, which allows you to do what you do best. Let's jump in and have a look at some of the features. So to get started, we have the idea screen. We all know that a great YouTube video starts with an idea in the shower or while you're walking the dog. So we've set this up as the primary screen here for you to use. Now, what we'll see here is we have unused and used ideas. So as you use an idea, it disappears. So it makes it easier to focus on what matters. And we have it here in the mobile as well, all right? So when you're in mobile view, you can be doing it while you're walking the dog, um, hopefully not in the shower. All right, so from there, we just hit create. Let's do a video. Let's say, um, why is the weather wet? in Sydney. Um, we can do a video on weather patterns, right? We're gonna create that idea. All right, now from here, we can sort our ideas, okay? So if you can, as you think, oh yeah, this one's more priority or as things drop off, if they become too stale, you know, hit the old delete button, keep your room tidy. But from there, we can hit create project, All right? That sets up a new project for us. Now we've built a markdown editor here for you so that you can do simple formatting. We wanted this to be really clean um, so that you can focus on the content and not focus on formatting so much. Um, we've got hundreds of tools that can do that for you. But this is here just for basically for text. You can write, do your research and you can write scripts. So we allow multi-pages. So you can create a new page when you want to come time to script and exactly what you want to say. So from here we have attributes. Now attributes are basically just where are we publishing this? What pillar do we want this to go to? So this is probably going to be, you know, news. And then we can say here, evergreen or time sensitive. Now this matters because evergreen content, you can basically publish at any time and that will last many months or years, hopefully. Time sensitive contents, we need to get this out now because in two weeks time, it's old news, no one cares, all right? So we're gonna say, why is the weather? It's probably more of an evergreen thing, global warming, etc. Hit save. Now here, we can see all that stuff being updated. So moving down, we now have our ideas. So these are the ideas that are linked to it. So if we have multiple ideas that create a video, you can do so. You can link all those things in one place. It helps trigger your thoughts when you're working on this thing. So the next piece of the puzzle here is the external links. So what we can do with external links is link to assets or link to research. So in this case, I'm gonna just link to this article here, Sydney Tourism. And I'm gonna just say uh, facts and planning. Save that link. Now, when your team jumps in or if you jump in later, you just can click the link, boom, opens you straight up to where you were. So you can continue on your research and put it in and break it down at the top. Finally, down the bottom here, we have comments. So we're gonna say, great idea, but still needs some work. We'll work on it uh, tomorrow, okay? If you have a team, you guys can leave comments to each other here and just it's all documented so you can see the workflow and see where things went wrong or went right. Back at the top left, sorry, top right, we have upload files. So this is where you upload your thumbnails. We all know how important thumbnails are when making YouTube videos. So we've allowed for multi here so that if you wanna do A-B testing, you can, you can find them really easy. They're all in one place and on some drive folder somewhere hidden, you know, randomly. Um, easy to find, easy to clear if you need to. Straightforward, not much more to be said there. So finally, um, in this one, we have our users who we assigned to a project. So you can assign other users in your organization to this project. And that just allows us to see who's working on what. Very easy, very simple. All right, so once we've figured out all the details and we've got this video ready to start being worked on, we can move into our Kanban board. So this shows all the statuses that we can move our project through. Now these are fully customizable by you, but we start you off with a very simple baseline here. You know, straightforward. You've probably all used one of these before. We just drag content through. So as the project works, which this one's probably, we need to write it next, okay? And then we're recording the Clipflow beta right now. Once we've worked on that, we wanna jump into scheduling. So scheduling's pretty important when you're trying to produce content on a specific beat and tune. You wanna make sure that we're always getting our content out every two days, three days, or every day, or multiple times a day. So here's where we can schedule. So we've built it in this way that is very straightforward, 31 days of runway here for you. And you can just pull in unscheduled content wherever you want it, all right? So do you wanna do it today, before that one, after that one, or you wanna run it on Friday in between because we've got a gap there. 
pretty straightforward. We show you what the status is, where the platform is, what um, category you're going into or pillar and then also whether it's evergreen or time sensitive and that allows you to quickly see oh well i can bump this one move this one if i need to because it is evergreen or it is time sensitive now a power user feature for this is for instance if you wanted to really run a new video you found it on friday morning let's pretend it's friday that something really important happens you need to get that on the platform straight away we can just go here and say move these projects forward and make space for it okay so you can just bump everything down to make room if you make a mistake and you want to go backwards, you just go pull them back up. So that's a power user feature, very useful when scheduling. You don't have to go and manually drag every single video down. Okay, so from what you can see, it's a very simplified platform, very stripped back, but we've tried to make it that your content is front and center so that you can do what you need to do without it getting in the way. Now from there, we move on to admin. So the first piece of admin is a channel screen. So as we said, you can manage multiple channels in Clipflow. Most of us solo creators probably only have one, but if you're a team, you may have multiple. All right, so this is very simple. It's just showing you what's your default and how many ideas and projects you have there and you can create new channels if you need. Very simple stuff. The next step is the organizations page. You can be a member, an admin or an owner. Um, owner has to pay the bill. An admin can do things and a member can just take part and be involved in projects. So for instance, I'm a member here, can't do anything, but I'm an owner of this one. So I'm gonna jump in. And from here, you can see I've got the basics, I got the users on my team, can invite new users, which is super important. Make sure you invite your editor and your writer and your designer. And from here, we can edit our categories and pillars. So if we have different categories and pillars, we can do that. These are seeded for you, but you can remove them and change them. And then down here, we have statuses. So you can have all your statuses and then what order you'd want these statuses to go in. You can delete them again and you can add more. You know, if you have a very complex process, we got you. If you've got a very simple process, we got you too. Finally, we have your profile. Chuck your photo on there, smiley face. Color scheme. So we support dark and light mode and time zones here. So the time zones are obviously important when you're working with dates. If you work on software, you understand how fun that is. And we set the color scheme here to light. Save it, refresh. That's now persisted across all devices. So if I pull it over here on the phone, you see we've also got it there. So it's saved against your user profile. And then the whole app is built in a eye blinding white screen for you. <laughs> Not the best for streaming. So I will change that straight away. Save that and refresh and refresh and back to dark we go. So I'm gonna show you some power user features quickly. An app that supports multi-channel. We can flick from here to here and see the different things in each channel that we're working on. This persists across all these tabs here so that you can see and easily go through all the different things and say, okay, that's fit for production. What about Inidium Garage? Oh, that's got one here. Great, great. And that's the channel switcher. So one little Easter egg that we have is a stream mode and stream mode removes all the Chrome. When you're doing a stream or a video, you can hide what's unnecessary and only show the things. So if you were trying to walk through and talk to people about some ideas perhaps and say, hey, these are all my ideas. What do you guys think? What should we work on next, etc." Um, you can have a look at that. And we're also looking at expanding on this idea possibly if it's used. If, if it is, we were looking at possibly hiding certain content. So you could set like a project as do not show in stream mode so that when you're streaming, it's hidden and no one can see it. Um, and you can protect all your secrets. Another thing about stream mode is uh, like everything else, it's also persistent. So if I pull it on this um, phone here, you can see it's also stream mode. We persist everything against your user profile. So if it saves, it's the same no matter where you are. All right, so you can see from what I've shown you, very simple, very clean. That's what we like to build. Um, it's got a purpose here and it's to help you build content and make you um, stick to your schedule and make sure you're releasing when you need to. Clipflow is currently in beta, so please sign up and give us some feedback. We'd really appreciate it. We're really excited about this project and dog fooding it ourselves. We're using it to create our videos, as you saw, busy using it right now to build it and create this video. So please reach out on Twitter, send us an email. We'd love to hear your feedback and we'll catch you on the next one.